As a parent in South Los Angeles, Prentiss Hill has no doubt where he stands in the debate over school police and whether to eliminate them. He wants more security in schools, citing an incident of a student allegedly bringing a gun onto his son's middle school campus last year. Maria Agueda, the parent of a student at the Bernstein High School campus in Hollywood, would go even further. In the wake of a 15-year-old student's overdose death in September, she said she supports police bringing in canines and conducting random drug searches. Their demands, however, run counter to those of high school activists and labor, legal and community organizations pushing to eliminate school police and redirect those resources to drug awareness, student mental health support and black student achievement programs, a goal that they fear is being. They saw partial success in 2020 when the Board of Education cut the school police budget by a third and took away the police officers stationed at every high school. Though there's broad agreement among parents and students on the need for strong mental health services, and school district officials say they are responding to this imperative, and passionate opinions on the role of law enforcement and school safety have surged to the forefront as superintendent. Alberto Carvalho is preparing to bring forward a school safety plan. Students Scissor, United Teachers Los Angeles, the ACLU of Southern California, the Los Angeles Alliance for a New Economy, the Collective for Liberatory Law Yearing and Reclaim Our Schools L. A sent a letter last month to Caravaggio and the school board opposing calls to increase policing. The groups have been alarmed by statements from Carvalho and El Police Chief Michelle Moore who said after the Bernstein high death that school police play a valuable role on campus. In their letter, the groups said campus police create a climate of fear and foment distrust between students and the adults who educate and nurture them. People feel uneasy and scared around police, Jaylene Morris Horace, an 11th grader who attends a school located on the Bernstein campus, said in. We shouldn't have more of a police presence because kids will get racially profiled or profiled on stereotypes. And we shouldn't bring back the random searches, she added, referring to a decades-old practice that ended in 2019.